Okay, so now that we've enabled SSL and we've enabled a site for SSL, we need to get an SSL certificate and we need to configure Apache to use that certificate. Now, in this demo, we are going to do this using a self-signed certificate, which normally you would not want to do that. It will work, but you're going to run into problems when people try to access your site because their browser isn't going to recognize that certificate. Now, if you're doing this inside your organization, that might not be horrible because you can go around and install that certificate as a trusted certificate on all of the computers, and that would be fine. But if you're using a site or setting up a site for people outside your organization to use, that's going to be a major problem. So what you would probably do is you'd want to request a public certificate and you're going to have to pay for it. And the way of configure or the way of uh, requesting that is going to vary from site to site, uh, depending on who it is you're using to provide your publicly trusted uh, SSL certificate. But once you get this certificate, you're going to kind of install it in the same way. So let's walk through this process here. I'm going to start by making a directory to hold my certificate. So that's get into the right window here, mkdir. And I'm going to put them in etc apache2 forward slash certs. And that's something you do either way with a public or a private certificate. So this is the part that's going to be specific to creating a self-signed certificate. It's open SSL. Uh, REQ stands for request. It's going to be NX509 certificate dash nodes, not notes. Days, we want it valid for 365 days. We're going to create a new key. It's going to be RSA key with a length of 2048 and key out. So we're going to output the key to forward slash ETC forward slash Apache 2 forward slash search, the place we just defined. And we're going to call it my site dot key, which is really descriptive uh, name, I know. Then we're also going to output the certificate to forward slash etc forward slash apache2 forward slash certs forward slash my site dot cert. Now, you would probably actually use more descriptive names if you were doing these, um, but it's going to work for our demo purposes. And it gave me an error. Let's see what we've got going on. Nodes, days, new key. For one thing, it's an RAS key, not a TAS key. And for another, it's an RSA key, not an RAS key. Okay, that looks better. So, now we've got to answer a handful of questions. So, country key is going to be, or country code is going to be US. The state name, Washington. Uh, we're in Yakima. The organization is going to be YVC. The organizational unit. Now, notice this is in square brackets. We technically don't need it, so I'm just going to hit enter there. We do want the fully qualified domain name or your name, depending on what it is. Now, this key is going to be used for um, encrypting data to a server, so we're going to want to put the fully qualified domain name of our server. So it's going to be classroom bassett 311local Email address is for contact information. All right, now that should generate the key and the certificate for me. And I can verify it by doing ls forward slash etc apache2 forward slash certs. And there are my two files, mysite.cert and mysite.key. All right, now, if we were doing this off of a public server, we'd go online to the public server, we'd request the key, we'd provide all the documentation, we'd have to say what we're using it for, um, and then they would send us, or more likely have us download, uh, these two files. And then these two files would go in our search folder. Now, that gives me my certificates. Now I need to attach the certificate to the default SSL uh, site file. And remember, if I'm doing more than one site, then I'm going to attach it to the specific uh, site file 
for the site that I want to use this certificate on. So I'm just going to use the default one for an example. So it's Nano, ETC, Apache 2, um, forward slash sites, dash available. And I don't need to do the sites enabled. I can do sites available because remember I have that link from my sites enabled to my sites available file. So I can just edit this one, dash SSL.conf. And I did not get the right file name. Control O to, whoops, not Control O, Control X. All right, let's look at that again. ETC Apache 2 sites dash available. Boy, how did I do that? Forward slash default dash SSL dot CONF. That should look a lot better. Hey, what do you know? That does look a lot better. Okay, so a couple of things we're going to change here. Right here, we have the certificate file. And I'm going to change that to my new location. So it's ETC. Apache 2 forward slash certs and it's my site dot cert is the file name and then I also need to set the key and that's going to be found in etc Apache 2 forward slash certs forward slash and this was my site dot key now there's one more thing that I need to set and that is up here under the virtual host, I need to set the server name. And my server name needs to match the server name that my certificate has. So it's going to be server name classroom dot basset three eleven dot local. Now if they don't match, then your users when they try to access this are going to get an error because they're going to see a server name that doesn't match the um the certificate. So I'm going to control O to save out my file, control X to close out clear my screen here and now I need to reload Apache. I don't have to restart it, I have to reload it. So it's systemctl reload Apache 2. And that should reload my re configurations. Make sure we're up and running still. And we are good. OK. So we have now configured our Apache web server to handle SSL.